In this video, we're going to see, can regular polish just stamp? And I'm going to show you some SE Stamping Polish easy manicure ideas. Let's dive right in. Hey guys, it's Clarice. Welcome back to my channel. So let's gather all of our supplies together. So here are some polishes that I don't think I got to last time and I do want to try them out. So we have a blue hollow here. I did test a hollow the other time, but I'm going to test out um, a couple of hollows here. I also want to test an OPI and this is from their Infinite Shine lines. And then I'm also going to try a few SEs. Here's a light purple, a light pink. I'm going to see how well the lighter colors can stamp. And then we have a light blue and then a darker blue. And I think I tried this Sally Hansen yellow last time, but I not quite figured out that if you move faster, they work better. So I'm gonna try this again. You know, I think I'll also try stamping my silver hollow here. Okay, so that was the polishes. And for stamping plates, these are the two that Born Pretty sent me. I really like them. So this one has a lot of small abstract and flowers. And then this one has the marble rock patterns on them. And for a stamper and scraper, this is the only one I have right now. But it does work pretty well. So this is a marshmallow stamper from Moyu London. But this is the scraper it comes with. And then this is the stamper. So it is not a clear stamper, so I can't see through it exactly where I'm stamping. But I've actually done some successful stamping manis with this, I think, so yeah. Okay, so let's start the stamping. So let's start with the lighter colors and then move on to the darker colors. This might be my least opaque polish I have, but let's see how well it will stamp. Scrape across, and boy, that hardly looks like anything. And it did transfer, but as you can see, it is very not opaque, I mean. So let me clean up everything and we'll try again with a different color. Let's move up to the light blue. Alrighty, and this polish is usually opaque in two coats, I guess, but it's it can go with three too. Alright, that up. Okay, that did transfer, but again, it does not look very opaque. That's why um, stamping polishes are good for stamping because they are very opaque and thick. So, but the good news is, is that it does stamp. All right, I think this would be a good time to try the yellow now. Let's try this marbly pattern over here. Okay, that is not very opaque at all. How about we try my light purple now? And I'm gonna hop over to this plate. Alrighty, so I think that did kind of good actually. Uh, it, it's sideways, sorry everyone, but I think this stamped pretty well. I can actually see some purple in the color. It's not just like a clear color. I can actually see purple. Now let's try out my dark blue Essie. I'm going to do the simple lines over here. Okay, you know, it did stamp and the color is pretty good too. However, it is not the most opaque it could be, you know. So let's try an OPI. I'm going to do this weird triangle thing here. Oh, oopsies, uh, not totally quite. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that stamped pretty much the whole pattern. That's so pretty. Okay, so I think that along with working quickly, another trick might be to not scrape twice. Because I noticed that when I scrape twice, the image doesn't seem to come out as clear. Maybe because I scraped away too much polish from the stamping plate. So yep, this orange worked very well. Look at that. How about we get into the hollows now? Let's jump back to the marble plate again. Alright, so I stamped in half on the black and half on the white so we can see what it would look like. Whoa, look at the hollow in that. Okay, anyways, um, I can, apparently I can see it okay over the black and the white, but it shows up better over the black because this is a lighter color. I stamped pretty okay. Now let's try out my classic silver hollow. Okay, 
Okay, not everything seemed to totally pick up. You know, I'm going to try this polish with the other stamping plate. I'm going to try this polish with a couple simple geometric shapes over here. Okay, you know, that's kind of stamped okay. Uh, you can see a little bit. Yep, this one's stamped okay. I'm not sure I would find a way to use this again unless I'm stamping over black, which they show up better with. Now let's move on to my blue hollow. Let's see how well this one does. All right, this time I'm going to try stamping several objects here. Okay. Hmm. The detail isn't the greatest with them though. But let me try it again, but this time stamp on the white square because I think it actually shows up a little bit there. Okay. Okay, that's actually really cool. That's a little glittery blue fern. Isn't that cool? Now, as I promised at the beginning, I was going to do a stamping nanny, right? And I will do that in a moment, but I just wanted to show you before I took these off that I actually stamped these nails with regular polish. I used this dark green and the silver by Essie, so both of them were by Essie, and they stamped pretty well. This is actually a matching one. But all right, let's take these off and actually do some stamping on my nails. I removed everything. Alrighty, I'm going to apply a fresh coat of Peel Off Base Coat. So getting some inspiration from Born Pretty's website, I think I'm going to do something like this. Maybe like the one in the middle here with the gold and the gradient. I kind of like that one. So. Okay, here I planned out my mani on a notepad. Do you ever plan out your manicures on a notepad? Everything is going to have a light blue base because all of them are in fact going to be gradients. And I actually learned that to do a nice soft gradient, if you paint the nail the lighter color of the two colors, then that's also a good way to get a gradient besides painting the nail white. And I'm putting sponges in between my fingers because if my two fingers that have latex on them touch each other, then they stick and then they start peeling off the latex. So that makes a lot of mess. Alrighty, we're back to the thumb. So round two. That is a lovely gradient. happy with these. Now let's just clean everything up and then we can get to the stamping. I think this is the first time I've ever done a full set of nails on myself for a video. So everything is cleaned up. So I didn't test it out in this video but I'm going to use my white nail polish here. By the way there are links below for all these products that I use if you're interested in checking them out. Alrighty we're doing it for real now. Cool, okay. Hmm, okay. Hey, that's fine, they don't need to all look the same. I like doing my nails for you guys. If you want more videos like this, let me know. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're going to go back and add that gold accent there. I think I'm going to use this hollow and that's going to give it a little bit of a sparkle too. Okay, let's see, where is it? Can we see it? Mm, it's kind of hard to see. Well, let's do another one. This one right here. Alright, so I can kind of see it. Maybe I should do a design that's more like this. Hmm. It definitely gave a very nice sparkle all over the nail. So another thing the picture has that we haven't added yet is a rhinestone. I think it's one of these guys. But I'm going to add it after the top coat. So here's my top coat. 
What is your favorite brand of top coat? I do like this Sesh Beat one. It does though kind of shrink nail polish past where you want it to. I think they call it shrinkage. But I figured out that if I don't apply the Sesh Beat all the way up to the cuticle, then it doesn't happen. So that's why I'm not applying it right up to the cuticle. So this is my favorite method for attaching rhinestones. I like to wait until the top coat is dry and then I'll put a little dot of clear polish there and then I take the rhinestone with my tweezers and just place it right in there. So well, that is a nice touch. I hope you all enjoyed and maybe learned something too. But if you're wondering what nail polish colors would be good for fall, hit the notification bell because in my next video, I'm going to swatch and review five of my favorite nail polishes that would be perfect for this season. And here are the common shout outs for this video. Thank you so much everyone for your love and support. For free personalized emails from me every Saturday featuring new videos, sign up to my email list with the link below in the description. There are links below for my other nail art tutorials too. What am I doing? Okay. <gasps> the common shout outs. I almost forgot. It's watch me do my nails time. All right, so I stamped in half on the black and half on the white so we can see what it would look like in the rhymes. <laughs> so maybe someday I'll pick up a clear stamper, maybe. <laughs> I probably should, everyone's telling me I should. <laughs> if you're new here and you'd like to keep in touch, subscribe and click the bell for notifications when I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. EST. And comment below, did you like the nail art design that I made? Do you think it's better for summer or for winter? Share your thoughts below. Remember that a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. So I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You're really the best and have a magical day.